Hi, in this session I'm going to cover how to create a stock chart. Now Excel 2010 has some very different variations of stock chart. This is one of them where it represents values for the open price, the high price, low price, and close price of a stock during a interval. And in this case it's a daily interval. We have uh, our values here for the daily prices for each of these different categories of open, high, low, and close. This particular chart is actually called a candlestick chart and it traces its origins back from Japan. And a little description on the different uh, features of this chart. The, the wicks here, that's why it's called a candlestick chart, the wicks here represent the highest and lowest values during the time interval. So you can see here it's high on March 30th. Let me go ahead and bring this down. On March 30th was 610 and the lowest 597. I'm going to bring this back up. You'll see that it kind of hover over here. That's the high and low lines. Uh, let's see if we can see that. So around 610 and then 5. I think I had mentioned 59, yeah, 599. So it's around there. The body, this box, which represents the body, is the open and close values. So we have, if we kind of just hover over here, let's see if we can do that. Maybe this one's a little bit better to see. When we hover over it, you can see the close price is 618. This is the one on April 2nd. And then the open price is 601. So by default, these colors that you see, this red and green, by default, when you create a stock chart, the colors are going to be black and white. Now the white shows the values, the white shows that it closed higher than the previous interval and black shows that it closed lower. Uh, I've actually changed the colors here from red to green to be a, uh, to kind of go in line with current uh, thinking of theme, of color themes. Red usually, if you ever see in the stock ticker symbol, red usually means the stock's going down and green means it's going up. So keeping in line with that theme, I chose these colors. So how do we create this chart? How do we get the data and, and create this chart? Well, if you've already got data in this type of format where you have the date, open, high, low, close, you can just start to use that data. Now, it may be painstaking to kind of get that data from uh, one, of, one of these financial sites and put it in there. Or you can go about and with Excel, you can actually do a web query to one of these financial sites such as, such as Yahoo and Google and get that data. I'll show you how to do that. In the ribbon, you go to the data tab and go to the external data grouping and we're going to click from web. This is going to go ahead and pull up a, a browser interface. Uh, let's see, that, I guess this is okay. And I'm going to type in Google's ticker price, ticker symbol, G-O-O-G. -O -O Press enter. And usually Yahoo Finance has a pretty good uh, table for historical prices. And I'm going to go and click there. And when I, once I click there, it's going to bring me into this page view. And you can see here it's already got a table of the date, open, high, low, and close. And I'm just going to choose, uh, just kind of narrow down this date, maybe June 1st, 2012 to June 20th. 2012 and get prices. So this this um, getting external data, we have these little arrows that lets you import data into the Excel spreadsheet. And I just want to import this particular portion of the table. So I'm going to go ahead and click to select this table, and I'm going to import it. So what it's going to do now, it's going to, imp it's going to, we need to select a cell. I'm going to select just A1 and click OK and it's going to import that table into our cells here. So you see how nicely it did that? I'm going to just delete this section here. Press delete. And I've got my row, my data table for my chart. So I'm just going to select this portion of it and go to insert other charts and our stock chart. So as I mentioned before, there's different stock charts. This is a high, low, and close, just four uh, columns of values. And the one that I'm going to show is the open, high, low, and close. 
So I'll click on that. And you can see here what I mentioned before, we have our default black and white to indicate while well, white is at a close higher than the previous interval, black is at close lower. You can see here. Now I don't need this legend here. I'm going to go ahead and click that and press delete. And let's show you how to tweak this chart a little bit so it sh looks like the other one that I showed. This looks a little bit stark, so we probably want to get this to show a little bit nicer uh, and, and view a little, a little bit nicer. So what we can want to do is we have noticed that there are these blanks here and what it's doing is uh, it, it's showing the access based on the date values and of course uh, the stock market doesn't open up on Saturday and Sunday so these two values that Excel just kind of puts in there, these are this is going to be Saturday and Sunday, they represent the the blank trading dates. Now you can have that change and, and if you want to get rid of that and just show Monday to Friday throughout the trend of this graph, you can do that and you have to uh, click on the access, right click and go under format access and you want to have the access type as text only. So if we click that, what it's going to do is it's going to represent this access as text, it's going to think that this is going to be text not numbers because the way that Excel views dates is in a numerical format. It's kind of done in the in the, the background. Some people don't like that. Some people don't like having the the uh, the weekends kind of taken out because it helps them break out the five day trading cycle for stocks. But I kind of like to have this there so I can kind of see the trend. But if you don't like it you can always change it too. So that is for getting rid of those little little spots there. Now also with the colors that we want to change, all we need to do is just click on one of the white or black uh, bodies and you can see that it's selected only the white ones. If I click on one of them, it will select all the black ones. So I can just go in there, right click, uh, let's see the black ones indicate it was lower so I'm going to put that as red. Let's make that red and then let's make the white ones green. I'll Oops, see I selected the lower part of the, wi the wick. Let me get, get back into the body here. You can see they're all selected. Right click that and let me change that to green. We can also add some, some nice little effects. Um, I can click on that and go under format and go under shape effects give it a nice little um, bevel. Let's give it a bevel and we can click on that and just press F4. What F4 does is it repeats the last command that you perform. So I press F4, it gives it a bevel for, for that particular body. So what if we wanted to update the chart? Our, we have new values here and we wanted to update that. And, and we this is a 20, 20 days, right? So if we wanted to do that and we didn't want to go back and look into the website and retype this in. There's actually, since this is now a query into the website, we can actually change that. And so what we want to do is, let me go ahead and bring this graph down. Let's right click it and we go under here where it says edit query. And it's going to bring up that same web page now. And I can go ahead and say, okay, maybe I want, I want June, I don't want June, I want, uh, maybe I want last month, uh, the, the previous month, May 1st to May 20th. And then I do get prices and it's going to bring back another page and you can see here that it is May 1st to May 20th. I want to get this table again so I'm going to go ahead and click that and make sure it's green and check mark and click import. And so what it's going to do, you can see that now it's bringing that data in and I can just I can leave that there since I've only selected these 20 cells here. If I bring this back up, you'll see the data has changed. So that's another way to update your data by using the web query. Maybe I want to put a title in here. Let's go ahead and put a title, uh, chart title above the chart, and we're going to call this Google parentheses Google stock price. So there you go. There's an overview of how to create a stock price. Oh, there's also one more thing. If you notice that 
we have our dates here. We brought in our dates and the way that it got represented in the table was it was in uh, descending order. So we have the, the the larger, the most current date first. So it's going to represent that in the chart. And what you can do is you can either change it here in the table or you can change it in the chart. Uh, the change in the changing in the table, you can just click anywhere in there, right click, and then sort sort oldest to newest, and then it's going to sort it. It's going to sort it for you. Now, if you didn't want to change the table here, you can also change the chart. Let me go ahead and Control Z to undo that. You can go under the chart. You can right-click the chart here, Format Plot Area. Oops, I think you need to go under the axis. So you go into Access, go into Format Access, and what we want to do is we want to click this Reverse Categories in Reverse Order. So what it's going to do, unfortunately, is also going to bring the the y-axis over to the right, but it does bring the this data in a ascending order from left to right. So depending how you want to do it, you can either do it on the chart or you can do it in the table itself. So there you go. There's the example of how to create a stock chart. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.